a lot of product, a lot of physical products will remain on shelves in the fashion space, in the fintech space, without companies like ours. At first delivery, we are perfecting the last mile, one delivery at a time. My name is Sheo Ali, and I am the CEO and co-founder at First Delivery. Take a look at Liz. This is what a typical client at First Delivery looks like. A skincare entrepreneur, or a fintech entrepreneur without, ooh, I mean, without physical branches, um, distributing debit cards or POS terminals across Nigeria. We also have the CEO of a pharmatech space, aiming to deliver medications to their, last, to their customers across Nigeria as well. We also have business owners who sell products, um, fashion items, beauty accessories online, and are constantly looking for last mile logistic companies, leveraging technology to help them drive skill and efficiency. One thing that is similar to all of these entrepreneurs is that the, logistic, the last mile logistics space in Nigeria and by extension Africa is so fragmented. You need multiple logistic partners to help you reach your, I mean, your different customers across Nigeria. And the process is so manual. Um, you, have to, you are either placing your orders via phone calls, tracking them via WhatsApp, and a and, and lot of, lot of complica um, complications in that space as well. There is also the rigid and unfavorable price model, disenfranchising SMEs that already contribute 49% to our GDP in Nigeria. The market is also very huge. The last mile logistic landscape today is worth over $60 billion and is expected to grow by 20.5%. I mean, and again, the target market includes fintechs, pharma space, electronics dealers, skincare, and, I mean, skincare entrepreneurs and um, entrepreneurs in the fashion space. How are we solving this problem at FES? One, we offer customized pricing. So it doesn't matter what, what the size of your business is, whether you're a small business, medium scale business, or even large corporate, as long as you're able to guarantee a minimum number of orders on a monthly basis, we'll customize price for you. And you're, you're able to get deliveries done across Nigeria for as low as $2 anywhere in Nigeria. Secondly, I'm always very excited about this point to say that We've got very big players in Nigeria, like DHL, the FedEx, the UPS, that you all are familiar with. But First Delivery is one of the very few indigenous companies that has got physical presence across Nigeria. In Nigeria, we have 36 massive states, including the FCT. And if you go to any of those states, you will find us there. So this gives us an edge over other players in the space. Thirdly, our goal as a business is to eliminate all the manual processes that businesses and corporates face today just because they need to get their items to their customers. So imagine placing 10,000 orders and you have to um, follow up with the status of those orders on a, on a spreadsheet, Excel, I mean, um, Excel spreadsheet. It's cumbersome. So at first, we built APIs for technologically enabled organizations to plug in push their request to us, track it, make payment at their convenience without having to speak to any human being. And for businesses that are not technologically enabled, we've also built a dashboard that allows them to do everything that an API would do for them. How do we make money? Today we've got three models, three business models. Was one for businesses where they pay a fixed amount for a guaranteed, for a minimum, I mean, for a guaranteed number of orders on a monthly basis. For individuals, they pay as you go. It's a pay as you go model where they pay based on distance to be covered, um, size of items, and uh, I mean, and how, I mean, and, and the sense of urgency attached to the delivery request as well. We also make money from logistics aggregators. The, log the technology landscape, the logistics tech landscape is also very, is booming in Nigeria um, and Africa as well. But what we've also realized is that a lot of these um, log log logistic technology companies need, I mean, need assets to fulfill their demands. So we are, they are like, we are their one-stop shop. Um, they, they aggregate the demands and they leverage our assets to complete them. We also make money from them. 
Um, the landscape is quite competitive, but today, um, First Delivery is the only last mile logistic company that caters to B2Cs, B2Bs. Um, we offer express service. We've got APIs and dashboard. We have mobile app and web application as well. We have international coverage, and we also have nationwide presence. In terms of numbers, um, we have completed over 1 million trips. Our, growth re um, our revenue growth stands at 96%. Um, and in most recently, just less than a month ago, we decided, we, we embarked on the journey of gradually decarbonizing our assets and have now introduced the use of electric bikes as one of the pioneers in that space in Nigeria. So today, uh, we are reducing um, um, carbon emission by 15%, and we expect that that will grow um, to up to 60% by the end of 2024. In terms of B2B growth rates, we currently start at 58%, and um, we expect that that would also grow um, by this time next year. Who, do, who are the customers that we serve today? Examples of our customers are unicorns in, in, in Africa. Um, we have Ope, a, I mean, a payment solution company. We work with Flutterwave. I'm sure that's also very, I mean, you're very familiar with that name. We serve Red Bull Nigeria, um, Guinness Nigeria. All of these fintechs, what we do for them is to help them deliver debit cards and POS terminals across Nigeria. Um, and for the likes of Guinness and Red Bull, we actually help them deliver physical products, their drinks across Nigeria as well. Um, we also sell people like Dang Lifestyle, Tika, for all these are beauty and skincare products, I mean, skincare companies in Nigeria leveraging our, our, our services to also make money and grow their businesses. We are a com we have, I mean, our, our, our management team or leadership team is a combination of over 50 years experience. Um, I have worked with, I mean, in some of African unicorns as well, like Ope. Um, I've served in the banking industry, so I understand um, the challenges in the fintech and the um, financial institution space when it has to do with last mile logistics. Um, my co-founder um, and our CTO, uh, we met in First Bank, and he's also worked with, I mean, at Terragon. We have our head of sales from DHL, um, and he's really helping us in terms of numbers. We are super excited to be here, and if you'd like to speak to us, please um, pick up the numbers on your screen, and I'll be I'm happy to take your questions. I don't know if you have questions for me. Thank you. <laughs>